Hello everybody, let's try this again. I don't know what happened, but my first video, which I thought came out nice, I don't know, it didn't record the voice. So I see the thing moving, so we're okay. So let's take a look around what's going on here today. Our plan from yesterday, or belief as to what should come together, seems to be happening. What was that plan? Well, interest rates to stop going up. For the moment, they've stalled. Uh, let me just look at TNX here, look at the 10-year, and you can see the same. They, they've stalled. Uh, red bar, gapped up, it's under the open, starts pulling back. Markets should like that. Uh, we talked about crude oil coming up to the top of resistance, inflationary pressures. If that would start coming down, that would be a positive. Well, that's happening. So that that's a plus. We talked about financials. They're not doing much of anything, but after the big red bar, they're not going down. We talked about transports, that they had been weak and they were on support if they could start lifting up. Not in a great way. It's not a wide range bar, but they bottomed and they're starting to turn back up again. All right, so what else? IWM is shaping up. It started to move higher here. It's coming down. It's coming on top of the pivot here. So as I'm doing the video, well, previously there was some strength. Now it's pulling back. That's okay. Just midday wiggles. Um, it's some nice wide range bars coming up. We'll look at others. We're going to see what happens here. You know, after, you know, around three o'clock or so, whether buyers want to come up at this pivot or any of the others and push it back up and see if these Inside days can turn green and their bottoming tail bars. We'll see how that plays out. Um, we looked at the S&P, the Qs, showing some relative strength. This rolled over a little bit. And what I mentioned in the prior video, and I've mentioned in the past, is one of the signals or indications of when you get three pivot highs, three attempts to go higher, and that fails, oh, things are typically going to pull back. Well, you know, it's coming off of the bottom of this support here. It's above, it's above the open. Um, it may pull back some more. It may pull down to this pivot here. It's pretty darn close. Clearly, if it goes all the way back down below the blue line, which is the open, you know, this is going to turn into a topping tail bar. And then, you know, whatever's happening with interest rates, oil, and whatever positives, maybe they begin to deteriorate. Anyway, things looking okay we'll have to see how they hold up we've got this wide range bar on the 65 minute that's a positive things get a little extended they're up at these pivots here if they can chop around here a little bit and everything else i've talked about work out should be i think they go up uh kre you know just inside day here chopping back and forth it was higher we'll have to see if this uh can get turned turned around we were talking in the room about cyber, this uh, ETF, that looking good, like it could take off from here. I like the bullish price action. How do we define that? Well, you got a bottoming tail bar at resistance. You got a red bar, could have went down. It gaps up and it's holding on to the gain. You got a very similar five minute chart. So we need to see this chop around for the next hour or so, recover, Whatever it's going to do, the 65 minute looks good. Uh, corn is an ETF position. It's pulling back. Another one of those little hook patterns. This one in transition of making the hook. We'll see if it does. It can move back up there. Uh, this one's kind of a little messy, but I like the fact that you've got this power move. It came down to make the hook. It couldn't continue, but it held the pivot and turned back up again. We've got a red bar ignored. It's going sideways here at that pivot high topping tail. If they can take it out, it should go up. And if the markets come together, as we've been discussing, everything should move higher. Uh, SMHs, they were losers, meaning laggards. Uh, they were underperforming. <clears throat> they pulled back to the support. They're moving up here. Um, coming towards some resistance, so <laughs> we'll have to see what they do. Um, MU, talked about yesterday, tried to hook, and so far it's not 
working at the moment. Uh, JBL, another hook, holding up pretty good today. Uh, starting to pull back here like everything else, but a very constructive 65-minute chart. Lift I spoke about, I think it was yesterday, um, and moved down today. Now, this could be falling apart and heading down to the 50, but if this can get back above the open and close strong, this should be a go. And it was preceded by a momentum move. It always, look, these things don't always just set up textbook patterns. Sometimes they get a little more erratic, uncertain. But if you play our bar by bar analysis techniques, you'll always be guided as to what's happening and what you should do. Uh, United, you know, pull back here, kind of steep pull back, but bottoming tail bar, it's holding up pretty well. And the other things that we see pulling back, this is actually near the high of the day. So that looks good. Walmart spoke about yesterday, wide range bar down. This one is more bearish. So maybe money rotating out of this and into some of the underperformers, but we get a bearish one, two, three. So far, it's just an inside day. And this is obviously pulled back. And if it trades under here, we'll look at that as a short tomorrow. I think we already looked at the regionals. And um, yeah, so we'll see how things shape up here. Technology is looking pretty good. We'll just see if interest rates can continue to uh, you know, weaken oil, weaken transports, strengthen. And if that all happens, should be higher tomorrow. If you have any questions, email us, Greg and Dan at Master Trader.